as you are all aware that fifth bharatiya vigyan sammelan is being organized at ferguson college pune during may 11th to 14th this year this is being organized by vigyan bharti in collaboration with the maharashtra state government and in collaboration with the deccan education society uh, the main theme of the conference is confluence of traditional and modern sciences a new integral vision for development so the academic program for the conference includes several sessions several eminent speakers and panel discussions uh, it includes many areas of traditional practices and of modern sciences and together we are trying to explore how this together can come for the development of the nation and the society in general the various themes that we have thought of uh, that could be presented include things such as forestry biodiversity conservation traditional medicinal practices agriculture plant and animal sciences water atmospheric sciences modern astronomy ancient astronomy and so on and so forth we are all aware that uh, sciences was practiced uh, with great uh, vision and with great achievements in historical india it's a well known fact that till about 1800 india was a leading scientific player in the world and it's also known that the total uh, exports from india contributed to roughly about 27% of all exports in the world however for historical reasons in the last 30 or 40 years they had dropped dramatically after the british left the country and in the last 50 years it has picked up once again but since we know that uh, sciences were practiced with great vigor in the country in the indian continent especially some of the major discoveries such as the discovery of zero or our astronomy or our metallurgical practices uh, were very well known contributions to the world of science even in the last about 60 70 years there were several great contributions that have been made by indian scientists on the global scenario we are all aware of the work of sir c v raman in terms of raman effect and uh, raman scattering but apart from that many other scientists have contributed a great deal to the world of science in the modern day india's contributions in theoretical sciences such as mathematics and theoretical physics are very well known bharatiya vigyan uh, sammelan the fifth bharatiya vigyan sammelan attempts to actually bring forth this kind of issues uh, so that uh, we showcase to the world how traditional practices were observed in india and how these have actually influence the modern scientists uh, we believe that uh, bharatiya vigyan sammelan is relevant in today's global scenario we also believe that indian brain has always been very active and india has always contributed to the world of science and in the modern scenario we have great potential to further contribute to our society and bharatiya vigyan sammelan the fifth bharatiya vigyan sammelan attempts to showcase these achievements to the society in general